You know, Florida is obviously known for its lightning. Oftentimes, we have the honor of being the lightning capital of the world, or at least the country, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. But did you know that climate change can actually contribute to this frequency? Well, in our ongoing commitment to covering our changing climate, here is Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins with a closer look. So I want to talk about this lightning study that just came out. The lightning impact isn't just here in Florida, obviously, right? We've seen, though, an unprecedented amount of activity in parts of the world that really might surprise you. When you think of lightning and thunder, one of the first things that may come to mind are our Florida summertime thunderstorms. But would you think of the North Pole? A new study from Vaisala, an environmental monitoring company that measures lightning around the world, has found that lightning in the Arctic drastically increased last year. In fact, 7,287 lightning strokes occurred last year north of latitude 80 degrees. That's almost twice the amount of strokes than in the last nine years combined. The World Meteorological Organization declared lightning as an essential climate variable because understanding where and how frequently it occurs can help us better understand changes to our own climate. This increase in lightning in the Arctic is important because scientists use the Arctic as a key indicator of climate change. In fact, temperatures in the Arctic are warming three times faster than the warming that is occurring at lower latitudes. The latest lightning data helps to confirm that drastic changes are taking place there. The cause of this increased lightning has to do with more warm and moist air pushing into the Arctic. We are seeing storms that develop over Siberia, then push out over the Arctic Ocean, further pushing the warm air northward. Those air masses create lift in the atmosphere, and when they collide with the cold Arctic air, thunderstorms occur. That lift makes those storms become more frequent. Because the air is normally so cold there, thunderstorms are rare. But in August 2019, the northernmost lightning strike ever recorded occurred just over 32 miles from the North Pole. Using the Vaisala satellite-based lightning counts, scientists will be able to monitor the warming in the very remote region, and that helps us understand how warming due to greenhouse gases is affecting our climate. The latest lightning report also showed that lightning increased across the U.S. as well. Over 194 million strokes occurred last year, some 24 million more than was observed in 2020. Florida has the highest density of lightning strikes with 223 lightning events per square mile. However, Texas, yeah, they beat us for the most lightning overall with over 42 million strokes, and that includes cloud-to-cloud -cloud strokes as well.